Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout, we are doing part of our basics series, our seated air ball workout. So what you will need for today's workout is your sturdy, comfortable chair, which we will stay in for the entire workout, having also your air ball. And if you do not have an air ball, you can always use a small pillow, you can take a towel and fold it up, just something to give you a little resistance and also have your water close by. Once you get everything together, meet me right back here and we'll get started with our basics seated air ball workout. Welcome back, we're ready to get started. Before we start using the air ball, let's just do a couple movements to warm up the body and get some movement in it. So let's just start with a little march we're nice and tall, we're scooched to the front of our chair, our abdominals are pulled in tight, we have length in our spine and our shoulders stay relaxed and down. Big deep inhales and big deep exhales. We're gonna tap our feet out to the side and then alternate extending the arm. So tap right and left, right, left. Abdominals pulled in tight. Let's do two more on each side. Two, two, one. Back up nice and tall. Good job marching it out. Alternate pressing to the front as we extend the leg out long. Right side, left side. Right, left. Length and right. Length and left, press. Three more, three, two, last one each side. Just march it back out for five, four, three, two, and release. Good job. Now it's time to pick up the air ball. We stay nice and tall, scooted to the front of our chair. Abdominals stay pulled in bringing those feet about shoulder distance apart. Nice and lifted, balls in the palms of your hands, so you're not gripping it with the fingers. Pressing into the palms, the fingers can still wiggle away from the ball. We're gonna press into our palms like we're trying to touch them together. We gently release. Exhale. Inhale. Feeling the entire upper body engage by doing that press into it. From the chest, you can feel the biceps, the shoulders, the abdominals even engage. Exhale, press and squeeze, release. Three, two, Last one, good job. Now keeping a little bit of pressure in the palms of your hands, glue those elbows to the side of the body. I want you to curl the ball up, release it to the lap. Curl up, release, curl, release. Now we're focusing on our biceps. The front part of our arms, getting that range of motion in our elbow joints, curl, release. Three, two, last one, release down. Now we're going to grip into the ball with our right hand. We're gonna end up transferring the ball, but keep those elbows glued to the side of the body. So open out, come together. Now transfer to your left, open, together, open, together. Again, those elbows are glued into the side of the body. We're getting into our rotator cuffs. Squeeze, together. Squeeze left, together. Three, three, two, two, one more each side. I want you to transfer it back into your right hand. So your right hand is holding on to the ball. We're gonna bring it down to our left tip. Our gaze is gonna stay on the ball the entire time. We're gonna bring the ball up towards the sky at the right, release it back down to our left hip. 
getting that rotation through the core. As we open up, we're opening through the shoulder and chest. We're pulling back from our upper back. Keeping that length in our spine, keeping the abdominals tight. Three, two, last one. Let's switch sides. So now the ball goes into our left hand. We bring it to our right hip. Our gaze stays on the ball as we bring it up at a diagonal towards the left. Keeping that squeeze, we're working our grip strength when we hold the ball with just one hand. We bring it up, we exhale, we inhale back down to the right hip. <sighs> Working on that opening up through the shoulder and chest, pulling open from the upper back, getting that rotation through the core. Let's do three more. Three, two, last one. We come back to center, back in between the palms of our hands. We're nice and lifted. Our shoulders are relaxed, fast squeezes. So keeping the muscle contraction the entire time. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, Three, two, and last one. Pressure stays in the palms of your hands the entire time. Extend it forward, bring it in, out and in. Again, it's in the palms of our hands. We can wiggle those fingers, extend out, bring in. Three, Two, that last one, hold that extension out nice and long. Slight bend in the elbow joints. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. Our gaze stays right on the ball as we twist side to side. So twist over to your right side, pulling from those obliques back to center. Twist left, back center. Exhale. Inhale, let's do two more each way, two, two, last one each way, exhale, inhale, exhale, we come back center, we release the ball down, so now we have length in our arms, of course that slight bend stays in our elbow joints, we're going to bring that length up, then release it down, so bringing it up to your range of motion, releasing it back down, if it only goes right in front of gaze, that's perfectly fine, stopping there, releasing down. Pressure stays in the palms of your hands, feeling the entire upper body staying contracted as well as the abdominals. Three, two, last one. Knees are nice and close together. Bring the ball down onto your lap. Palms of your hands go onto the ball. Let's focus on our abdominals. We exhale. We press down into the ball. We get that movement through the abdominals as they contract. We release it back up. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze abdominals. Chest goes slightly forward. Release. Three more, three, two, last one. Good job. We're back up nice and tall. Let's focus on lower body. So ball goes in between the knees now, squeezes. So squeeze into the ball, hold that squeeze for just a second, then gently release it. Exhale, inhale. Really feeling through the inner thighs, the quadriceps, your lower abdominals contracting. Three, two, last one. I want you to hold that pressure on the ball, staying nice and lifted, alternate extending out. Extend right, release, left, release. Holding that pressure. Feeling those quadriceps, inner thighs, outer thighs working. Three, three, 
two, two. One more each side, right and left. Good job. Both feet are down, high onto the balls of the feet. Release. Keep that pressure. High up, release. High up, release. Really squeezing into the lower part of the leg, those calf muscles. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Three, two, last one squeezes again, but now we're doing those fast squeezes. So keeping that muscle contraction the entire time, little squeezes, keep the abdominals tight, stay nice and tall as you concentrate for five, four, three, two, and holding that pressure onto the ball, we're gonna lean back into our chairs. When we lean back, we want to keep the length in the spine. So don't get curved through the spine. Stay nice and proud. Length stays through the spine. Abdominals are tight. We're going high onto those tippy toes. So options here. If all you feel is your lower back, then I want your heels to go down high onto your tippy toes. Otherwise, I want you to focus on trying to lift those toes up, release them down. Lift toes up, release. Lower abdominals, we're not bouncing and using momentum. We're making the core do the work. Let's do three, two, last one. Great job. Take the ball out from between the knees. Walk those feet slightly out. Now we're putting all of the focus on the entire abdominal wall. Imaginary string right in the center of the belly. We're going to use that string to help pull us up. We exhale. We inhale, gently release back. Let's do three more. Good job. Three, two, last one. We stay up nice and tall. Ball comes closer to the body. Walk those feet a little bit closer in. Alternate twisting to the side with a knee raise. So right knee comes up, twist to the right. Left knee comes up, twist left. Again, getting into the obliques, the sides of the waist, strengthening through our lower back as we get range of motion in our spine. Two, Two, one more each side. We come back to center. Ball is nice and close to the body. Length stays in our spine. We're nice and proud and open through the front body. We inhale, chest goes forward. Exhale, our lower back leads us up tall. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one, we're up nice and tall. Good job releasing the ball down. A couple of nice, quick stretches for you. We're nice and lifted in our chair. Interlace the hands behind the back and open through the front body. Good job. And release that, bring them in front, round and arch the spine. Opening through the back body. Up nice and tall, lengthen through the right leg, slight bend in the knee, hinge forward and breathe. All the way through the back of the leg. We sit up nice and tall, we bring our right foot up, we circle through the foot. Getting that nice stretch through the ankle as well as mobility. Reverse it, other way around. And release right, let's do that on the left. Leg out long, slight bend in the knee, hinge forward and breathe. Coming up nice and tall, lifting your left foot up, circling around at the ankle, getting that good stretch and mobility in the ankle joint. Reverse it, go the other way around. Releasing that down, arms by your side, shrug your shoulders up, inhale, release them down, exhale, two more. Last one, circle them around to the front, 
opening through the upper back, getting that range of motion in those shoulders. Let's bring them to the back. Should feel nice as we open through the shoulders and chest. Two more. Last one. Three deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, bring that length up. Exhale, release it. Two more. Big deep inhale, length up overhead. Exhale. One more. Big deep inhale, length up overhead. Exhale, release it all out. You did an amazing job with our basics beginner air ball workout. I am so proud of you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I look forward to our next workout together.